Hey everyone, it's Rosanna from RPS Makeup. This week's video is a Katy Perry inspired makeup tutorial. This look, I always, whenever I search Katy Perry makeup, this one always comes up. Now, I've actually made this one a little bit more wearable because not everybody wants to walk around with bright, greeny, teal eyeliner. I have done the black on top a little bit thicker than she had and I've also made the green a little bit thinner than she had just so it's more wearable. But it is inspired from this look, the lips and all that kind of stuff is the same. It's one of the most popular comments I get on my channel saying that look like her now honestly I can't see it but so I thought I'd do a tutorial because um, it's either that or Lauren Conrad I always get Lauren Conrad some people even comment things like oh my god I actually thought it was Lauren Conrad <laughs> anyway that is besides the point so that is why I decided to do the Katy Perry one also it's a little bit more fun to play with a little bit of color if you want to see how I did this Katy Perry inspired makeup tutorial then just keep watching So to start with, I'm using the EX1 Invisiwear foundation. This just gives a really nice medium coverage and you want something that's going to make your skin look nice and flawless but you don't want it to look too cakey. And then going in with the collection Last Imperfection Concealer, just to highlight a little bit under the eyes. She doesn't have like a crazy amount of highlight going on, but she'll have definitely had a little bit. And then I'm just going to blend this in using my finger. And then using the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. This is really good if you've got dry skin. It doesn't cling to any dry patches whatsoever. And I'm just going to apply this all over the skin to set the foundation and conceal it in place. I know how to be friends. I can tell you and using the NARS Bronzer in Laguna, I'm just going to use this to bronze the skin. She didn't have any crazy contour going on. So I'm just lightly buffing this around the perimeters of the face. Moving on to the eyes, I'm using the MUA Eye Dust in shade 3 and I'm just going to spritz a bit of MAC Fix Plus onto my brush just so we can use it as an eyeliner instead of an eyeshadow. So all you want to do now is just do a wing liner as you would normally. Now I've done this slightly thicker because you are going to put the black underneath it so you want to still be able to see the green peeking through. So I'm just using an angled brush and I just keep going back and forth between spraying my brush with some Fix Plus, adding a little bit more eyeshadow and just playing with it until you've got it how you want it. I'm then using the L'Oreal Super Liner just to trace the top lash line and just kind of mimic where you've put the green but it's obviously you don't want to cover it all up. You saw me tremble, say what you gotta say Two together down in the subway Through the window, can you really tell me that it's not what it looks like? I'm then going to go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara and apply loads of this on your lashes. You want big, thick, full lashes for this look. So you just want to apply this on top and bottom lashes. Moving on to my favourite part which is the lips, I'm using this Revlon Lip Butter in Lollipop and it's just a really hot fuchsia bright pink, it's absolutely gorgeous and this is like the perfect shade that she was wearing in all the pictures I could find so you just want to, any kind of colour like this, any bright hot pink will do. So this is the finished look, I really hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you did, subscribe to this channel and my channel which will be linked down below and I will see you in next week's video, bye. Close it in on your pride now.